So why did the Pleiadians build a vast field of stones today called Karamor? Was Karamor a megalithic cemetery or something else? What I can see is they're lifting the stones so easily by their sound. Who are you? I am one of the women who came here to uh, give these people um, something back. So by lifting the stones and putting them in this position together, it's like a monument, like a, a boundary between us and our family. Are you saying to, that you, this group of people who are helping people on Earth and the people on Earth, come from the same place in the universe? Yeah, we come from the same place. We come from the seven stars. My name is Sansira. What's your name again? Sansira. Sansira. Yeah. I am Sansira. I am the Pleiadian woman who spoke through the voice of Mara at our first contact event. Now I speak through the voice of W.J. Ching to you on the other side of the screen. I am a Pleiadian spirit interacting with you in a form that is closest to your heart. You may visualize me as a woman of any skin color or you may visualize me as a ray of light. I am a ray of light here to review answers hidden in plain sight. I know you have many questions. I will review my answers step by step. Let's begin our first step here at Carl Moore of Ireland. Look at these mega stones. Touch them and feel them. They are stones with consciousness. They contain information. We created these mega stones for you, for the new human race born in the Neolithic era. We, the Pleiadian Relief Mission, that has landed on Earth over 11,000 years ago, initiated the worldwide Neolithic Revolution. We stayed with you for millennia of time, as your teachers, as your guides, as your friends, as your family. We walked the Earth with you, we hugged you, we talked with you in your own tongue. There were numerous sites around the world where we had met you in person. These were meeting points where your Neolithic ancestors met us face to face. Coromore in Ireland was one of these meeting points. Tribes of people had come from their home villages in the surrounding area to meet us, the eight Pleiadian teachers. We, the group of eight Pleiadians, constituted the Ireland team inside the relief mission. We, the group of eight, created the megalithic complex, today called Carl Moore. For what purpose? For people to come and worship us as gods and goddesses? Of course not. We are your family, equal to you in spirit. We don't need your worship or devotion. We didn't need anything from you, but you needed something from us. 
you needed the knowledge, skill, and power that we had brought from the sky. You needed to know how to walk the new way of living that we had introduced to the Earth's human realm. Our meeting points were places where your Neolithic ancestors not only met us, but also learned from us. The meeting point of Karomor was a learning center. Karomor was a campus. Each stone circle here was a classroom, and each classroom was different, made for teaching and practicing a specific set of rituals. Wait, it's not what you think. Let's go to one classroom. Let's go to this stone circle. Listen to the stones. Can you hear their sound? Can you feel their vibration? In this high frequency field, we taught tribes of people how to make the greatest love in order to conceive the greatest child. Yes, we the Pleiadians taught people how to have the greatest sex, spiritual sex, high sex, cosmic sex. If you align the totality of a woman with the totality of a man, if you align the union of a couple with the union of a tribe, and if you align the union of a tribe with the union of the earth, moon, sun, and stars, what happens next? What happens next is the greatest orgasm. The orgasmic energy creates an opening in the astral field. Through this opening, a soul from the star world could come inside an earth woman's womb. This way, a star child is conceived. Here at this stone circle, we taught a generation of people the star child conception ritual. As we went on sabbatical leave, tribes of people continue to come here and practice the star child conception ritual. You see, this stone circle was the exact opposite of a tomb. It needs a better name than Tomb 57, don't you think? You may want to call it the lover circle, the wedding circle the orgasm circle, or the star child circle. Just never call it a tomb. What about the other monuments at Karomor? Was there a tomb? No, there was no tomb in our original complex. We made this complex over 6,000 years ago as a campus to teach people how to live. To teach people how to die was a lesson we taught at another location. Karomor was not a megalithic cemetery. Karomor was a megalithic campus. What about the bones and ashes discovered during archaeological excavation, you wonder? 
My dear viewer, if funeral remains are discovered at an ancient site, it doesn't mean that the site was originally made for funeral. Invaders and migrants from a later time could deposit all sorts of things into a conquered site. Bones, ashes, vessels, ornaments, tools, or even weapons. A later day people from elsewhere could turn any site into a cemetery. Did it make sense to you what I've revealed so far? You don't have to believe me because I am a Pleiadian spirit. You just have to ask your heart if my information is true. You have a lot of questions, I know. If you don't want to wait for my answers in a video form, you can go ahead and read my answers already delivered in a book form. If you want to wait, well, we'll meet again soon in our next episode. <laughs>